Hey everybody, my name is Vivek Gaur. I'm your cool physical therapist. I work as a first contact physiotherapist in the United Kingdom. And today we are going to discuss what is frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder is a clinical condition of shoulder joint, which is defined by two main features. The first being pain in the shoulder and down in the arm. The second being considerable limitation of shoulder in all the ranges of shoulder joint. Now, in general population, it is believed the prevalence of frozen shoulder is between 3 to 5%. Now, let's discuss comorbidities and frozen shoulder. Some people with underlying medical or health condition are more prone to develop frozen shoulder. For example, people with diabetes, people with thyroid disorders, Parkinson's, stroke, head, neck, shoulder, or breast surgeries, people with um, cancer or stroke. So these population can develop frozen shoulder more often. But quite frankly, in my clinic, what I have experienced, nearly 50% of the time, people come with frozen shoulder and have no underlying medical or health problems. So it's quite true that frozen shoulder does happen more often in certain uh, medical condition, but then People also come with no underlying medical or health problem and still have developed frozen shoulder. Here are some interesting facts about frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder most often involves people between 40 to 60 year age group. It involves the non-dominant arm, which is quite contrary to what most people believe. Um, and also women are two to four times more likely to be affected by frozen shoulder as compared to men. Now let's discuss what is happening inside the shoulder joint when somebody has developed frozen shoulder. Now Kababe and colleague in their 2010 research mention that with synovial biopsy in frozen shoulder there was seen to be a proliferative fibroblastic and inflammatory process going on in the shoulder joint and there is collection of inflammatory markers in the joint capsule and synovium of the shoulder joint. Cho and Song and colleague in their 2018 article mentioned that with cadaver and arthroscopic surgeries have shown that there is increased thickening of the specific tissue called rotator cuff interval in the shoulder joint and also fibrosis or thickening of the synovium, which is called synovial hyperplasia in the shoulder. Modern research also points out to a fear-based mechanism which can start after the onset of frozen shoulder and which can significantly alter the use of arm and therefore it is difficult to decide if the pain is leading to the stiffness or if the stiffness is leading to the pain but it's certain that these both things go hand in hand and can trouble patients for a long period of time. An average frozen shoulder can take between anywhere six months to two years to resolve back to normal. Now, if you want to know more about frozen shoulder, I have linked below in the description a link by the Oxford University Hospitals. It's a fantastic link if you want to know more about what is frozen shoulder, the stages of frozen shoulder, common treatment strategies for frozen shoulder and the exercises you can do for frozen shoulder. The link is below in the description so you can check it out and it's a fantastic link. I'll see you next time in next video. Till then, take care of yourself, keep moving, keep fit, stay healthy. I'm Vivek Gaur. Bye-bye.